So be surprised or not, but I have a lot of Diana games. You can see this is Team Battle Diana 5. Which you want. And it is a normal game, of course, because, you know, we, my friend wanted to play NAR. And you can't play NAR in rank because either people are banning him because they don't want their teammates to have him, or because apparently he's pretty strong. Either way, my runes and masteries are attack speed red, armor yellow, magic resist not magic resistance, ability power blues, ability power quins, 21 9 0 masteries. So the enemy team decides to invade us in a normal game. You're like, we should have realized this because they weren't at their blue and they weren't at their red. So I lose my blue buff to the enemy team. I couldn't smite it because they kind of burst it down at the very end. So I, so I get my Gola, I mean, my, Gola, my Wolves, and my Red. And you know what? I'm pretty sure I could beat Jarvan in a 1v1 right now, unless he went home. I tried to steal his blue. So I warded, go back a little, see maybe he's not coming. Oh, he is. His smite should be down. So I just start wailing at him, and he misses. If his smite was up, I don't know. He lost the smite against me, and I stole it. So I'm level 3, he's level 2, and he can fuck himself. So, I pretty much got my vengeance there, and I delayed him, he's forced to go home, and I basically have a level advantage right now. You know, one thing about Jungle Diana that a lot of people are saying, oh, she's good, she's fast, she's awesome. You know, she's actually probably one of the saddest junglers out there, in that she's got the means to jungle well, like farming-wise, sustain-wise, aside from some mana issues, and whatnot, but taking uh taking the game out of the jungle sh she's pretty fucking bad she really can't gank and at level six when she is able to finally you know close the gap and stuff it's got two means of ganking one of them doesn't work as much because your q isn't that easy to hit and you don't have the mobility at first to you know use it properly if you hit them with your Q, you can go in with your ultimate, deal a good amount of damage then you know sort of chain that up and chase them down to their to their deaths right with uh or you can use the Q to just initiate it sort of like a weak ass malphite ultimate you'll see me actually do that soon i think i do that on the bottom lane first uh so you know use ultimate use e and then you like a weak ass Mal malphite ultimate on us on somebody it's it's kind of like that and it's pretty bad i mean she can clear fast she, yeah like i said she can clear fast she's got some sustain uh, issues with mana, but health sustain is great if you can maintain your shield up at all times, and she pretty farms pretty well. But taking it out of the game is pretty fucking bad, and it's it's kind of, I, it's not because Riot decided to nerf her. She's always kind of been this way. It's like as a jungler, she just she's good at jungling, just not good at taking it out of there, and it also delays her power spike more, uh, her power spikes from, you know, that she would normally get in the lane, because you have to burn some gold into a Spear of the Spectral Wraith, or whatever jungle item you decide to build, uh, and delay your other kind of items, yeah, you could still eventually buy them, and I actually will, but, Everybody else will have bought their items and, you know, sort of, you know, I would have lost any advantage I may have had. Either way, that's what I mean by the weak-ass Malphite ultimate. I flashed in, used my ultimate, and used my E just to sort of slow them down and force their escapes out. That's one way of ganking with Diana's ultimate, and it's not exactly the best thing out there. And, you know, I could have tried to hit my Q, but if that missed, I would have lost any, you know, moment of opportunity there, so... Is Diana good for anything, though, as a jungler? It's actually hard to say. She's one of the more well-rounded uh, AP junglers, yeah. Like, she won't just, you know, keel over and die. She can recover from the jungle easily enough, thanks to her passive. And she's pretty easy to itemize and farm for. But, damn, does she really do nothing out of it. And, and again, it's not her design. It's, it's just, uh, well... It's her. She's well designed for the lane. Ironic, even though Riot didn't really want her. I think from the lane. I think they wanted to make her under the first AP jungler, and female jungler because they had that niche still pretty much missing. But uh, she's she just needs some crowd control that doesn't suck. She needs some mobility that is not in, you know trapped onto an ultimate that you probably also have to use for damage and for whatever. And yeah, I'm not commenting on the game too much because you could see it yourself. It's kind of a basic back and forth right now. Right here I died because I had no mana and he had red buff. But either way. Um, 
It's just she has no crowd control and her ability is tied to an ultimate that doesn't have a cooldown that allows it to be used to initiate something and uh, it, her Q isn't exactly easy to hit when you have no mobility in the first place, right? Either way, you, you see me. Each time I keep using my ultimate just to close the gap and deal damage. You know, find that moment of opportunity there. Just go at it. But my Q is just not reliable to hit. Like, I didn't know if he had a, you know, a means to escape there. I wasn't paying much attention to the summoner spells and nobody announced anything. So if I got flashed in, used my Q, and he had dodged it, I would have lost anything. But if I had gone in there with my ultimate and then used my E, I would have kept him in place and applied red buff and maybe chased him down until he died. So, one of the things about Diana that some people know and some other people don't know is that she's one of the best, one of the champions with the most badass kits in terms of working with itself, but she's badly designed for the game health, not exactly, you know, like for functioning. She functions really well with her kit, her E kind of being dumb and as everything, but when it comes to champion design for Riot, Damage shields that damage you are one of the dumbest things they've ever fucking done. It's the same shit with Scion. It's like she can spam that shield and it'll have a longer duration if she pops all the balls on you. At the same time, dealing a lot of damage to you. And if you don't pop that, it's just gonna she's just gonna keep you know reusing that over and over. So it's like you can't deal any damage while at the same time she's fucking destroying you. That's just a stupid design, and I mean with Scion, it's kind of a bit worse, because like, if you don't pop, if you pop this, I do no damage. If you don't, you take a shitload of damage, so fuck you. And again, that's kind of the same thing with Diana, it's like, she can use that to, you know, push a lane, go into a bunch of minions, uh, to wave, and you know, destroy it with her W, and you can't attack her, because she's got her fucking shield, and once it, she pops those three balls, she gets a whole renewed shield, and it's just, what the hell? It's not a good design, uh, design for Diana, for any champion, really. So that's kind of why she hasn't been buffed. They kind of have to figure a way to make that shield fair or just change it entirely. But if they do change it entirely or they go about it the wrong way, people are going to be mad that their, that their champion is, you know, a, a, veg, a vessel of what it used to be. And I, I, again, I'm not commenting too much on the video because you can see what's happening there. And people have just been asking me for, what's your opinion on Diana? What's your opinion on Diana? I would actually say a lot of other gimpier jungle APs are better than her. She was, I think, designed to be strictly an AP jungler, I think. And, or some she can go mid lane and uh, jungle or whatever, but she just kind of failed in the in their goal to make someone who worked out as a jungle. They ended up making a champion that was too stupidly strong in the lane, and thus they nerfed her so she wouldn't be stupidly strong. But as a result, they kind of give the shit out of her jungle even more. I mean, uh, when she had really good numbers, she was insane. She could go in to, through camps and farm it up and come up being a very respectable AP fighter. But in a lane, she was way too fucking strong as a tanky AP assassin. So it's just kind of a really sad thing they had to do. In fact, they, one of the worst things that happened, though, and it was an indirect nerf to her, is they nerfed Spirit of the Lizard Elder procking on, on AP stuff. One of the most powerful builds for Diana, and one where I would actually have considered her high tier using, was her on hit build, where she could use Spear of the Lizard Elder and sting her Nash's Tooth and just melt camps and then melt champions. When Nash's Tooth was very strong, she was a very strong jungler, though she was a lot more insane in the lane. It's really sad, though, because to be honest, she's pretty fun to use and pretty fun to see, you know, like, uh, do do shit in plays and just go crazy on the enemy team. So, yeah, if there was an AP jungler right now that I would say is the best, it's just for strictly AP power. I I would have to actually say is it has to be between like Zach or uh, Zach or something. And, like you, you'll say stuff like, oh, "What about Maokai? Yeah, you know he's magic damage dealer, sure, but building him AP is a pretty bad idea, especially from the jungle." Zach can totally do that, but either way, Diana, she's more like a tier 2. She's just very well-rounded in terms of uh, jungle capacity, but her ganking is very weak, and her, you know, coming out of the jungle is actually a lot, uh, significantly a lot worse from the than the lane. So, think of it that. It's like, uh, 
it, when you want a jungle as a champion, especially one that's meant to carry, if you're if you are but a ridiculous shadow of yourself from them from the lane, that's a really bad thing. Most junglers when they're taking from the lane to the jungle are definitely weaker than their lane counterparts, but not always significantly so. Diana is significantly so. She really loses out on a lot of power if she's not being used in the lane. So, hooray for Diana, and, and I hope this explains to you a lot of a lot of my opinions on Jungle Diana.